Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Ayush and now in this video we are going to talk about the most important command that is the trace root command. Okay. So now in this video we will discuss about this particular command. So before starting the actual implementation of this command, let me discuss uh, with you the like basics of uh, this trace root command. Okay. So what are the basics of trace root command? As the name suggests, suggests trace root. What does it mean? It just means you are tracing a root. Okay. Uh, just uh, uh, think like a, an example like you have to go from uh, like uh, Mumbai to Bangalore okay so you can go from different routes and you will first trace the, like how you can go to that destination okay so trace route is a command which is used to find the what are the number of hopes hopes means uh, you can say number of routers which are included between your source and the destination okay so we will start with this so basically uh, actually I have an image for you also like suppose there is a, a source and this is the destination and these are the number of routers included between the source and destination okay so trace route is a command which will tell you like uh, what are the number of hopes present between the source and destination like uh, in our this today's implementation we will uh, see uh, like uh, the number of hoops uh, which will be uh, included between our this local machine and the google.com okay so for the uh, in ubuntu actually trace root uh, does not come with pre-installed so we will need to install it like if you hit this command then you will get uh, this error message or you will get a suggestion to first enter this command to install tracer so we will do this sudo apt install tracer apt is just a pa packet manager you can say okay and password and now it will install your tracer command okay so it will take a little bit of time uh, let's wait for it so it's also just like a trace root command just also you can say like a ping command okay like uh, we can use it also for checking the whether uh, the particular server or particular host is reachable or not okay so uh, now uh, we will start with the trace root command okay so first of all uh, i will clear the screen and i hope it is visible to you so trace root google.com okay so here you can see the first uh, hop is uh, 10.0.2.1 it's uh, like basically the uh, what you can say gateway address like the first address through which my PC is getting connected and the style means like it is uh, whether if we are not getting any response or something like that okay so here you can see we didn't get any kind of response uh, I don't know why uh, this is it's showing me star 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 and the star means uh, unreachable host uh, you can say like uh, or not unreachable it means like you are not getting response okay and the maximum hopes uh, uh, can be it will try for 30 okay uh, let me again check whether net my internet is working or not okay internet is working fine okay five packet transmitter five received zero percent loss let me try with again trace root with a dns server let me try first gateway again same that star means like uh, not responding uh, here you can see the maximum of hops can be 30 okay and it, it should show something okay let's hope okay so it's still uh, a streak so it's not uh, still we are not getting response okay let me check the network setting here okay it's some breather adapter okay uh, let me try again trace root google.com 
first is gateway okay yeah now now we are getting you here you can see from second and third hops we are not getting any kind of response so asterisk basically means uh, we are not getting any response from that particular router or you can say hops okay so now here you can see the first is gateway like gateway uh, gateway just means like the very first router or very first uh, you can say what you call the gate uh, like through which your packet will pass like the very first router you can say gateway just like a uh, your first router okay suppose you are connected to a hotspot okay then um, your phone will be of it will act as a first router okay first gateway or whether your phone is connected to the your isp or anything else you can say or just take an example of your wi-fi if you are connected to a wi-fi then the first request will be passed through your wi-fi then it will be connected to some another router then another router then another router okay then finally you will reach to the destination so here you can see uh, we are getting many results here like uh, uh, i think we have covered uh, approx of 14 hops here okay let's check whether well, it will come in one line let me increase this okay uh, i think now it's better yeah uh, so now uh, here you can see the first gateway like from which we are getting the response and these are the time like uh, what you can say uh, round trip times like uh, from uh, like uh, when we go and then when we come back then the overall time okay so here you can see uh, the different ip addresses uh, of different routers then the total time taken by them these are all the details you can see and at the last here you can see we reach to the destination okay yeah. and uh, okay we reach to the destination yes so it overall take 84.1 for 1 millisecond okay so uh, again let me try with uh, some other uh, website like let's take uh, ibm yeah. ibm.com I think my internet connectivity is slow today that's why it's taking much time so uh, you can see you are getting different uh, IP addresses of different uh, routers okay let's wait okay so we have covered seven routes Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We are not getting any kind of response. Again, no, no response, no response. We are getting. Oh my God! Okay. Uh, uh, I think maximum hope is thirty, so I don't think it will get complete. Okay. Okay, no problem. Uh, let me think about some other website. Uh, which is popular one uh, let's take uh, which website should I take man trace fruit uh, let me search for any website booking.com okay let's take for booking.com booking.com I hope we should reach like here you can see like uh, all these line represents the information about that particular hopes like the fifth one is the the IP address of that hope is this like 223.196.2.5 
minutes. Okay. And uh, also it uh, shows us the round trip time. Round trip I hope you got it like uh, uh, from sending packet to receiving back. Like from requesting to response. Okay, this is the round trip time. So here, here you can see we have got still uh, 7 hopes. Uh, let's wait. It's 8 now. Okay, I think we have reached uh, uh, like we are getting this booking.com so approximately we have reached uh, Okay, now it will get uh, Yeah, completed Okay, so here we are not getting any kind of responses from the particular uh, what you can say particular hops why it happens it may be because of um, they are unresponsive or they are turned off or whether it's also because of the firewall regions like uh, some of the firewalls does not reply back to this ping request or ICMP packet and here also in Tracer also we are sending that, that ICMP packet like internet what the what was the for from that it is internet control message protocol yeah we can say it like that okay so some of the routers are uh, not routers some of the firewalls does not reply back to those packets that's why we are getting this it may be a one kind of region or whether they are turned off or we don't know okay but still here you can see we have uh, approximately reached because here i can see the domain name of their web of their website that is booking.com okay so it may be one of the reason uh, also we can use uh, some different options with this stress root command like hyphen n options for like better view uh, let's try uh, with hyphen n what it looks like let's try stress root hyphen n let's go with our <laughs> google bob okay okay now damn as you can see like uh, as soon like very fast we got the result so as you can see 192 uh, first hope second third unresponsive 108.170.248.211 whether it is the our last node uh, let me check with ping i don't think because it started with 142 yeah okay so this is not the address which we were expecting mm. But 142.251 okay so here it should show me that particular uh, like the last uh, IP address I was expecting this address okay let's try with uh, other website uh, yahoo.com not yahoo it's yahoo okay i have not used hyphen n option let me use that okay so here also we can see like 74.6 dot like uh, here you can see the first and octet and second octet is same then we can we are in in the network okay, we can say like that okay so basically like trace root command is just uh, used to find a number of hopes which uh, um, lies between the source and the destination okay so we are getting asterisk and not getting response just because of their firewall uh, settings like uh, uh, it shows us the like uh, don't reply to the ICMP packet request maybe for the security regions uh, because uh, there is a tool in our Linux or Kali Linux system that is the nmap which we use for the network scanning okay so uh, we also face that error 
because when we go with the network testing then in this case uh, uh, we basically get that error so that's why uh, no any company or no any organization want uh, to uh, what we can say they don't want to replace anyone you can say like that okay so that's all for today's video guys and i hope you liked it and yeah if you have any queries then please uh, ask us in the comment section yeah but before ending this video i have to show you one more thing for you like for windows i know it's still uh, linux series but uh, test root is a command which we can use on both windows and the uh, linux but in windows we just uh, use this one trace crt and again let's enter google.com and here you can see the first hope it is taking 32 to millisecond 2 millisecond and the ip address the ip address of the first hope okay so let's wait for some time it i don't think it will take much time uh, okay for second hop request timed out again yeah yeah it will take just i don't think more than 15 seconds now so here also it is just sending the icmp packet request okay when we will start with the networking if in future then uh, you will get to know about the what are the different protocols used uh, okay like uh, for web uh, we use http https protocol and also we use different uh, for remote connectivity we use ssh ftp so we will learn all about these like how we can do with all these in our linux operating system let's wait now eight hops i think in windows it's working fine um now nine it is unresponsive maybe yeah to a strike three and the third one will come up yeah and the tenth one is here let's check what will be the ip address of this Okay, 123 I just want to ask one question like do you know about the uh, IPv6 address if yes then yeah please comment uh, comment about this IP address about IPv6 address okay so okay finally I think we have reached to the destination with the number of hopes is 14 okay yeah, yeah now now here you can see uh, this is 142.250.192.46 it is the same IP address and the destination IP address is also the same okay so in this way uh, we are getting uh, like the number of different hopes uh, like uh, we started from first and till 14 we reach to that our particular destination so this is the beauty of this command okay so i hope you like this because at the end we got our the like particular result like uh, required result because uh, it will show the like uh, exact uh, utility of this command like uh, uh, we are uh, requesting for this and still again we are getting the same thing like we are getting the destination address the same as the IP address okay so that's all guys so if you have any query then please ask so thank you thank you for watching and we will meet in the next video with another amazing video so thank you